And we begin north of Toronto, where police have busted a human trafficking operation. They say they have rescued dozens of Mexican-born nationals brought to Ontario to work on farms, in factories, and in warehouses. The CBC's Megan Fitzpatrick has those details. This investigation began a few months ago in November, uh, and at first it involved investigators from York Regional Police as well as the Canada Border Services Agency, and it all stemmed from a complaint from uh, a Mexican worker about his living and working conditions. That led police to talk to more workers and hear more stories about what they said were deplorable conditions that these workers were living in, uh, including dozens of people sleeping on mattresses on the floors, bug-infested housing, a lack of food and privacy. They also were subject, according to police, to coercion and control by their traffickers and some even victims of sexual assault. Now, police saying on February 8th, they executed several search warrants in the greater Toronto area, uh, including in Mississauga, Vaughan, East Gwillimbury and here in Toronto at multiple residences as well as one farm. Five people have been arrested and charged. Two of them are Canadian citizens, three of them Mexican, and two uh, further arrest warrants have been issued for two other suspects, both of them Mexican nationals as well. Police saying they're trying to raise awareness about this kind of human trafficking. If anyone suspects a farm, factory, warehouse, or any other business mistreating foreign workers, please report it to the police or to the Canadian Centre to End Human Trafficking. If anyone knows someone that could be a victim, please reach out for assistance. And if you yourself find yourself in this situation, know that there are out agencies out there willing to help and contact us. These victims were working in farms, factories and warehouses, but police today not naming any of the employers. They say the Ministry of Labour is now involved and so they're holding off on releasing details about the names of the employers for now. As for the victims, they range in age from t their 20s to their 40s, both men and women. Of the 64 victims who were rescued, 53 uh, took up the offer of a victim assistance centre that was set up in York Region and so they are being provided with uh, interim housing as well as food, they were provided medical care, uh, as well as crisis counselors have been offered to them as well. The Mexican consulate is in touch with them. At this point, uh, authorities saying there are no plans to deport these workers. They are being described as gentle, humble, respectful people who are just trying to help their families back home. Megan Fitzpatrick, CBC News, Toronto.